If you are one of those people who use Excel to track their stock, it's really important for you to know how to use the barcode in Excel. So make sure to watch this video till the end. All right, so before you add a barcode, you need to decide that which type of the barcode you want to use. Yes, there are different types. And here I'm going to use code 39 barcode, which is the most frequently used barcode. And in this code 39, for each character, there is a specific set of bars that you will get in the code. But again, it all depends on you that which kind of barcode you want to use. The next thing is to download the barcode font and install it. But here's one important thing that you need to know, and that's the license to use it. When you search on Google, you'll find some fonts that are free to use, but there are also some which are paid. And there's one more difference between a personal use and commercial use license. So make sure to decide that what kind of font you want to install. So here I'm going to use this barcode sync.com to download the font that I want to use code 39. So here's the font that I have downloaded and now I'm going to install it in my system. Now we have our font installed in the system. So let's go to the Excel and see how it works. Now to add a barcode, I need to have a cell wide enough. So for this, I'm going to change the width and make a cell little large as well. Now the next thing is to change the font from normal font to barcode font. So it's free three of nine extended. All right, so now in the downward cell, I'm going to enter the value for which I want the barcode. And here I'm going to use the value from cell A2 for Yes, that's it. So little increase in the font. And I think I need a little more space. So I need to increase. So this is how you install and use barcode in Excel. The steps are quite simple. You need to choose the barcode type. You need to download the barcode font and then you need to change the font type to the barcode. That's it. I hope you found this quick tip useful. And if you want to learn more Excel tips here, I have a video which shows you top 21 Excel tips and tricks for 2022. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'll be coming out of with a lot of cool Excel tutorials in coming weeks.